What's up YouTube? I'm finally able to make a video today on my 1950 Ford Coupe. Now this is uh, my newest project and uh, man was it running rough when I got it. It was uh, missing and it wouldn't start. The carburetor was crap. I had a uh, an, um, what looked like to be a carter, an original carter carburetor, um, and the accelerator pump was out. So I always had to start it up with uh, starting fluid and uh, rev the crap out of it just to stay on. And it was uh, idling at about 1,200 RPM, which is kind of ridiculous. But anyways, or even a little more, it would even do a burnout as soon as I put it in gear. And uh, one thing that I found out. Had it a couple of a uh, couple months. Is this is actually a 49 with a 50 front clip? Little things are giveaways where the gas cap is. The 50s have a little door. Um, those two little trims next to the speedometer. And uh, anywho, I don't care. I think it looks cool. I don't care if it's a 49 or a 50. I like both. I like the 50 front end a little more. And I think it's actually, I kind of like the 49 hood with uh, the Ford, which I need to get, is missing. Uh, yeah, guys, this is uh, running a lot better. Um, let's actually show you guys the engine. Just bear with me. All right, guys, this is a 283. I put on an Edelbrock that I have, and guys, this is actually, believe it or not, an Edelbrock 750 1411. Don't let anybody tell you that a 283 or 305 won't run or idle with a big ass 750. This is vacuum secondary, guys. The secondaries only kick on when you, when they need to, when the vacuum uh, pulls enough to open them up. Um, did a tune-up. This uh, had a cap and rotor that was all loose and the springs weren't holding it tight, so that's why it wouldn't uh, run, and sometimes it shut off on me and whatnot. I put a new uh, coil on it. Um, I changed it over to a, a internal regulator alternator. Um, it had a um, external, and it wasn't charging it right, so I said, screw that, I'm just gonna do the little conversion. You know, did my little wire over to the, to the terminal and whatnot, and yeah, guys, it's running a lot better. It was low on every fluid you can imagine. Uh, I was taking even, low on oil. Dipstick is not in because he put the wrong manifold on here. And you can't get a dipstick on this manifold. So I got to figure something else out with that. Anywho, let's uh, start it up. See what you guys think. Starts right up. It's idling at about 750 now. And it even does burnouts. Guys, this thing was running, or I'm sorry, timed at zero degrees, even fluctuating between one, uh, two and zero after top dead center. It's uh, running pretty damn good now. It's got the side exhaust with uh, some just some glass packs. But anywho, um. I think it's cool. I just wanted to make a video on on in the outside and cruising. And uh, guys, there's actually no front springs. Oh, I'm sorry, no front shocks. Uh, this thing rides like a like a piece of shit. Let me tell you, um, it's cool looking. Uh, it's got blocks in the back, but uh, the shocks are gone. I'm not thinking about putting air shocks. I actually got some already. And I got some for the front. I just haven't installed them yet. And I think the front, the actual bracket that holds the shock in is missing. Um, besides that, guys, yeah, the interior is going to come. I have a back seat off my other one and whatnot. And uh, it's just the basic. I mean, it's pretty shitty right now. but And the shifter is, like, sketchy. If you're not paying attention, you could shift it into reverse, no problem, while you're doing 70 or whatever. Which is not cool. But... The interior will come. Uh, first one, all the mechanicals to be good. I got a piece of shit gas tank. 
that's uh, just hanging out back there. Um, thinking about doing the Mustang one. Must 65 Mustang with a um, 65 Mustang uh, pickup and just running the gauge for that. Don't really want to cut up the dash too much. And uh, if you guys seen these, if you're looking at this video, you probably own a 50 or had a 50 or a 49 shoebox. These things, brand new, uh, like a modern one where everything will work, it's about 600 bucks. And I don't have that kind of money right now just for some gauges. A uh, speedometer would be nice, but, you know, um, I could just turn on my phone with a speedometer and whatnot. But, yeah, I need to figure out what I want to do for side mirrors. If I want to put them on the door or if I want to put a little peep mirror right here. And uh, a couple other little odds and ends. But, guys, it's running great right now. Um, like I said, it even chirps tires. Actually, it burns them pretty damn good if you just floor it. But anyways, uh, yeah, guys, leave a comment and questions. Thanks.